Alright. Let's give this another try. I'm afraid I wasn't able to make it yesterday, so I feel this piece is still a little too loud. Let's hope that's about right. I wasn't able to make it yesterday, despite what he said I would. I had a bit of a headache in that sun. But I'm back today. I've prepped some text that suck less, I hope. I'm going to play around a quick construction, then maybe a draft. I like, I like that it's going to be singleton constructed. I'm going to play the hell out of that. Singleton is just much more fun. Much, 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 much more fun. It's just a better format. Like, if I'm going to make one change to the history of Magic Gathering, it would be to make singleton the default format. And then there'd be more cards, like Relentless Rats, that you can have more than one of. But they wouldn't all necessarily be you can have as many as you like. Some would be you can have four of this card in your deck. It would probably be a keyword mechanic. Probably a cool one. I'm going to try out my uh, spiffed up Boris Assault deck. And when we lose, we lose. But this should be simpler than playing a control deck, which should fit my uh, complete incompetence a bit better. This is much better than I am. They're all just hello at the beginning. Rude. It's okay, we have the power of smooth jazz on our side. How can we possibly lose? Like, I feel like maybe when this thing levels up, you get better avatars, and everyone else has the best avatar. My current level is... Oh. Your opponent's level is... Ultra Diamond. Okay, they have a bit of a dubious hand, I guess. This is also a bit of a dubious hand. We have Magra Spray, Baffling End, though. We have a 3 drop, it's not a great one, but... I'm going to keep it just because I want to play games rather than just mulligan myself to death. This is probably a bad keep. I feel like my brother, who is actually good at this game, would not keep this now. Okay, we're fucked. How good is this thing? Okay, it's just one of us, right? Gotcha. Probably not going to bother killing that. This one's a warrior, right? It does just list the creature types in your deck, which ain't as good. Damn. Okay, that guy's got to die, but that's fine. I could cast this guy, but I'd rather just blow up this thing. Um, I think I'll use Battling End, because Magma Spray can hit larger creatures later. But I can't use Battling No, I can use this to make the white mana guy. It costs one life, but that'd be worth it. Feels bad being control, but uh, there you go. Okay, we have a 2 2 and a 1 1. We have two 2 2s and a 1 1. I might just drop the Solemn Recruit, which can uh, block any 2 2, but I can just kill it. So maybe I drop Ocketra's Avenger and blow up the thing. And I'm trading 3 for 3 and I'm already behind on that race. And this would cost me another life to cast. No, it wouldn't, because I can use... I 
that play mountain. Uh, have this white. Have this one. I get this Avenger. I she might have the black save guy thing trick already. Down this matchup, but I'm not so much in control that I'm going to trade a three attack, attack with three power for a attack with two power four attack. Probably has to use Mangra Spray or uh, whatever other shitty thing he has in there. Uh, Don't think Poison it. Yeah, I like Spray. That guy is kind of too good to ignore. Alright, I guess I'm taking five this time. So this costs me three, and then I can actually cast both these spells. Yes, it's not even difficult to do. Um, and then I get a shit ton of dudes, I guess. And that's probably... James down first. Bit of a risk, he might just try and kill me and burn me out, but I'm gonna go in. This guy has first strikes, so I can't do anything about that, but I could trade with this guy, that wouldn't be terrible. Be pretty bad. It wouldn't actually be terrible. All right. Uh, shock that guy. I think I just lose to not having enough. He kills me in three turns, I kill him in three turns. Actually, we're on the same clock. Let's just both attack. Yeah. I mean, he has a card in hand that might actually be a card. Wait, what? Oh yeah, he had a one lock, never mind. I needed to exert there. Wait, what? How come the warrior has vigilance now? Well, we have to lock that or we're in trouble.
Uh, I suck. I'm not sure how you exert the things as they attack. It doesn't seem to be given the option to do it. Maybe because they had vigilance and weren't tapping? I wasn't really paying attention. Once again, I think I'm just going to go over and free. Prince decks are so efficient. I never thought a 1 1 first strike with an upside would be so good. Well, I guess it's often a 2 2 with first strike. A 1 1. That's pretty reasonable. Yeah, yeet. And can I get the draw or get the go on time? I like this background a lot more. And I like this starting hand a lot more. It has a one drop, it has this thing, which probably isn't great in an aggro deck. Like, I like how it makes it so that they can't um, put down blockers easily. I don't know if it'll actually work, so I'm hoping, but that's 100% a key. Oh, red deck wins! I guess this is what we're doing. Mirror match, oh yeah. Not the mirror match, some kind of artifact deck. Okay, it's a 4 4 flying visions with crew 3. But it can do shitty things with planeswalkers. Two. Drop inspiring advantage. Fucking drop authority of the consoles. I'm really planning for this guy to go, uh, go the mile here because I have nothing else to burn spells. I should probably change this to lightning strike since I don't really need artifact destruction in the main deck. I guess I can blow up his art of Kira. I'll wait for him to waste some time curing it first, but... He's abrading my dude. 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 I'm tapped, obviously. Still, I want his. Two mana removal spell for my one mana creature, I guess that's winning. This is now no good since I'm the other one beat down. <laughs> it's not I'm out of my main deck of raid suddenly, even though Lightning Strike would be able to go to the face. Do you get anything for forcing your opponent to write out time out? I guess not, there's not really any benefit to doing so apart from a time down. Is he multi-queuing? I think this guy's multi-queuing. Damn, he's multi-queuing and I'm the I'm the easy matchup. That's brutal. That's get in there mountain. Quickly pass through everything so he doesn't realise I have a braid. If he puts down three power of creatures, he can try to wake us up, but it won't work until... Alright. This guy is a 3-2 for two. He's probably just going to remove it, but... He 
He's got to realize I have a braid or lightning strike or something. It's too obvious. I cannot nerf up passing my turns quickly. Chandra Torture Defiance. Yeah, yeah, that, that seems fair. I guess he's just gonna use one of the plus ones so I don't even get to flame that shit out of existence. Didn't cast the card. Uh, ah, he's screwing it with the planeswalker. Okay. That's very good news from my perspective. Definitely needed him to take away the loyalty counter to do that, because now I not only get to do that, I also get to lash his planeswalker. Are you familiar with this feeling? This is the feeling of having been outplayed. Oh, he's cycling cast down. Um. um, I'm just gonna play safe. I don't need to put down another two power right now. And if he has some rolling templar or whatever, the pirate rolling templar thing, another one? Okay, fine. Be like that. <laughs> Sacrificed to make a 2-2, two -two, but only in his hand to cast the sorcery. It's pretty good, that would, you know, that would trade with any of my creatures. Yeah. And yeah. it's tapped, and I gained one life, so I'm not completely complaining about it. Damn, I should have put down two more power. I could now I could kill Chandra if I had the Skymark Trasper on board. Fuck. I guess I do hit Chandra, because otherwise it has enough loyalty to kill my dude. Which for some reason. I think I just drop everything. Be like, uh, how much power can you actually put down? I'm no longer quite so scared of wrath since I don't think his deck has it. And this Chandra can only hit one creature. So let's say he takes out this, I'm still hitting him for four, down to eight. And this Chandra doesn't have enough to do anything. Uh, he could block here. How far away from? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, two things on board. So if I draw a creature, I get six best. Maybe I should have played the planes and if I draw a land. In fact, I probably definitely should have. God damn it! Just when I was thinking his deck, no way his deck would have mass removal. It had mass removal. Oh well. Turn lies the bouncer. Oh man, they distorted me owls. Too spooky. Okay, he gets it with the uh, Jenny's lower effect. Is he just going to win the game with Chandra? Probably. Has the emblem next turn, which. 
five damage any target every time it he casts anything. All right, all right. Do I shock Chandra just to keep him off the emblem? Uh, maybe I do. I should have really attacked Chandra. I was hoping to just win the game quickly, but. Ugh. What kind of red white aggro deck plays fucking Fume again? I ask you people. God, that sucks. That actually sucks so badly. He's not even going to try and go for a creature win, so Authority of the Constellation just did not work. Okay, he's just casting Khan off the top of the library. Yeah, that probably works, to be honest. Um, attack card, much good that it does me. Um, do I want to exert this guy? I think I do. Baffling is just doing so little for me. Yeah, exerted attack, hitting Khan. This guy card. Oh god. Dauntless Haven. Alright. Beats having nothing. Cycle it. How do I do that? Yeah, so for tap, thank you. Red. Cycle. Unclaimed territory, that's terrible. But we don't have to let him know that that's what we drew. your opponent's hand, the other will be exiled. Silver count ones he gets to cast eventually. But I guess we want to put the planes in his hand. And he can get the silver one. Next, well, he doesn't get it next turn, so I hit him with a flyer. Oops, bit of a misplay from him. He should have used that on my turn. Major misplay from him. If you'd use that on my turn, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to not take advantage of it, right? He still gets the Chandra emblem, so I'm still pretty much fucked. But I guess I have to kill Khan, otherwise he's getting removal back, and then Taki matters. Attacker. And I'll drop for it and initiate, sure. So it just doesn't draw another fume again, otherwise I'm kind of fucked. Okay. He has an insanely powerful emblem that lets him just kill anything anytime he casts a spell or kill me with the next. Two spells to cast a single one of the shot. Or another Chandra. Another Chandra works. Yep, going straight for the face. But I do have potential to exert this before every turn. Oh, damn. He managed to pull out Seal away. 
Okay, I guess I'm fucked. He takes four of my shit, obviously. Okay. Bit of a misplay. So he should attack here and force me to block with the scavenger. I guess he has one spell and he knows I can't go to more than uh, five life. Yeah, so breaks that. This guy hitting Chandra, why not? It doesn't really matter. What matters here is that I get. Yeah, sure. Two discard card. Pro card. Angel of Condemnation would be fantastic if I had the mana to use it, but well, it wouldn't actually be good enough. Okay, either he casts the card and I die, or he doesn't and I die. Yeah, double Chandra. Okay. I made an A to misplay that game too. But even so. Ugh. I played right into Fumigation. I didn't realize this deck could be running it. More similar to my own was. He was definitely more of my brain sort of friend as well. Definitely feeling me on a small fish, big pond right now. Like it's, it's a fact of Magic the Gathering media you, know, you go in with your shit's deck and never with the super expensive deck strikes you. I'm going second again? Really? What are the chances? Let's say 1 in 8. I know they're 1 in 8. Ugh. 3 3 drops? Ugh. That's extremely unpleasant. This guy's game winning, but not as a early play. As a late play. I'll keep it. I'd rather just have spells. Like, there are better hands to mold them to, like anything with a two mana spell, but. Three lands, four spells is basically just too good for my This one's good, I don't think I'm Okay, we're playing against some kind of control deck, I guess. We're probably going to get a lot of our good spells countered, but that's fine. Oh no, is it? Is it a control deck, but it's not like a Dimia control? Really? You couldn't have had these two be the other way around? Oh well, life is pain. Alright, what counter spell have you got? Nothing, because my creature is just too bad to counter. That is... that is pretty insulting, I've got to say. No, 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 it's just a grading instead. Correctly figuring that he can counter non creature spells but can't burn them. Uh, I want to waste something on this so that a devotion cropmate has a chance of getting it back. So let's just be bitter and cast a creature that's a little late.
Maybe I should just take your fed tunes out of the deck. Like, it enables you to do a... another upgrade, alright? I guess this plan is just to upgrade every single creature I play. And that'll even be a bad plan. Given he probably has card draw spells to refill his upgrades. Or large creatures that are too big to flame lash. Magic summons, what does that do? Name has an instant sorcery spell, contract, and rex, tanacons, exile, and everything in this instance when you guys can break with your hand, echoes will be for six more artifacts. Okay. So that's going to take over the game. More than a little bit. Mm. Let's drop this guy. I guess he's just going to upgrade that as well. Chandra. Faces I'm tired of seeing. Not JPEG. Add red red? Oh, Chandra and upgrade? That's brutal. That's brutal. Sweltering sounds. Nice 3 3 mode. I mean, I'm just gonna keep making dudes, to be honest. It's probably not optimal, but, uh. If he's out of removal, Combat Celebrant is, like, crushing. But I'm gonna play Dormer Saver instead. Because he has an extra draw with Chandra to try and get some removal, and I suspect he will. Today's my lucky day. Torrential gear hole. <sighs> so he gets to cast Sweltering Sons. Fuck you. He should have cast Sweltering Suns, shouldn't he? Oh no, it's only instance. Okay. Well, I can make my guy to a 4 3, but that's not quite good enough. Um. Attack plus Flame Lash to get the Gear Hulk. Not good enough. Um, I think I just banner and hope he thinks I've given up or something. If I draw a braid, I can braid the gear hole. It's an artifact. Uh, and you have the one. And I think he's just gonna. He, like, he's at two of his. six artifacts. Now at three, because he has to pass that. He should have returned Ban. It's not that dumb, it's not a creature. In fact, that was really bad because this is a warrior, so I draw a card when I cast it. Um, I can use Lightning Strike to take out a uh, construct. Let's start by hitting the uh, like, prop captain there. Thanks to the card nerd. It's just a mountain, but.
Okay, now he's thinking about using a counter spell. He probably should have. Um... One, two, three. He's not close to detonating his uh, metallurgic summonings yet, so I'm gonna hold off on lightning striking just to random construct. I might be able to get the gear hold with both of these or something, which is bad, but yeah, goes for the emblem. Not what I want, but what can you do? He probably just casts random shit now until maybe lightning striking Chandra would have been worth it. That's so horrible though. So you just build it back up again. They always have another Chandra. Fine. opportunity to like strike Chandra. Not really much point. But... Oh now he has a kind of spell. Well, at least I can console myself with the thought that I didn't really make any severe misplays that game. I just fucking lost. I didn't make any misplays or get bad draws, really. I just didn't have the ability to win that game. This is why this game is depressing. Yay. Another cruel reality, if only it were actually good. No quick draft now, only competitive draft. Fancy cocktails with a dash of despair. Dancing to the song, but our feet are flat. When it's right, it's tight, and I like it like that. Beamish is blowing almost all the time. Walking along the shaky Tyro line. Oysters, banana peels, and dirty rats. So when it's right, it's tight, and I like it like that. It doesn't have any way of telling you whether you need to keep playing until you're done. Like, if I start this now, am I stuck doing this until, like, midnight? I don't really want to do that. In fact... Alright, let's just play it anyway. I can only lose once. I mean, it's a bird. Doesn't seem to be a timer. I'm not complaining. This guy's a 3 4 flyer for 5. That's far from bad. This is excellent removal. Historic spells, legendary artifact, or saga. That's not many spells, to be honest. It looks cool, but it dies to shock. I feel like Seal Away is the pick here because it's just good removal. Like, it's Journey to Nowhere with Flash. It's incredibly good. I feel the cards are good too. This is a land that eventually becomes soldiers. This is a creature that is bad. This is a 3-5 elephant, the classic, with an upside that cares about it. This is potentially very good, but I doubt it'll be very good in this. 
is, is a threaten on a stick. Expensive threaten on an expensive stick. I don't really want to second pick Memorial to Glory though, that just seems bad. This is for supporting a mill archetype. from the ashes. You have Maya Shepherd. Also doesn't seem great. This is less of a commitment than migration. But if that deck's open, I'd like to be it. Sacrilege is cool. This is a land that scries for one. If I end up in a deck that can afford it, it's probably good. This is just big. I mean, this would be good if it costs two. Think of an eye. Easy, easy. Look at that tempo gain. It's crazy. Another blink of an eye, maybe? Unless it's adamant will, but I don't want to take a combat trigger early, even a very good one. Mm, this guy's big, and potentially huge. But I feel like this thing has got to be amazing, right? Like... Two blue blue, return target for long and permanent return his hand draw a card is good. And this has the option of being just uh, just bounce if you can get really needed. Fire intervention is removal. I kinda want to grow from the ashes. I do want to be green. White doesn't look very open. Memorial to Unity might be better though. Mm. I don't think I'm so committed that I can't take Fiery Intervention. Even keep you chronicler, but I want to try and commit. Try and go in on like uh, green ram prillings. Short sword. I mean, it's plus one, plus one. It's just they're all just ones, which is limited. It's good. Equipment's good and limited. Be a good combo with Sarah Disciple if it weren't for the fact that I can pick one of them. I think I want to take Warcry Phoenix and go into red. Fine haste. <sighs> I'll admit the picks in this format are interesting. The Flame of Kells. Nature Spiral. That's the one that I was thinking of the patterns of. Corrosive Ooze is a bear. Bears are seldom bad. Manoir Scout. Hmm. There was a time when this was one of the most powerful cards that me and my brother had. Two, got two lands a turn? Broken. Broken. And it blocks bears all day. Ramping. 
think of these ones that are on that this thing. Mm. There's also some ramp too, right? Even if it's not great. Yeah, I'll take rescue. Good combo with the other one. But I haven't decided whether I'm blue or red yet, but I prefer to be blue. I have primordial worms, so I'm not particularly keen to get Pardic one and uh, Wanderer. Salphorin Void seems good, though. Memorial's Unity. And I even got an excavation elephant, so I lost nothing. Okay, this is an easy choice. We take Burden Force. It's up to round two, and it wins the game. It's expensive, but 8 mana for a 7-7 that makes more dues. Each upkeep as well, so brutal. Brutal. I think we can probably abandon being white in this unless we get very lucky. And can afford to be like 3 or 4 colour. I haven't decided between blue and red yet. Maybe we'll wheel. Langmar on for you. There's nothing in this pack I want to get back. Firing intervention would be good if we're not there. Yeah, sheep and fire. I guess we are going red, because that is the best card in this pack. Hmm. Interesting. I wouldn't have thought they would uh, print uh, an Armageddon. Especially because you can get kind of bullshitty with it, plus rescue if not let them get any man's black back. And a big flyer. But yeah, let's pick a stupid flyer. Shame to lose those links on eye. Situationally, this is very good. Just not sure what the situation is. See, none of these cards are good. I just want to take Nature Spiral, it's seldom good, but... This is a beating, I know it is. A huge beating. I guess I'll take this, and brush through the deck, try and find something good. Uh, kind of too late to go back to white. And then red is trash. Boring cards. All of this, like, linear historic card stuff is 
may be good if you're an absolute expert at format, but I doubt it. Damn, healing salve blowing the fuck out. Well, these are all terrible, so I'm just going to take this one this way. No. I want to see the, all these black cards. You can't miss the game. Cool card, another lich card, but lich cards are always trash. I can imagine using that. Well, not in this deck, but. It's clear this must be some sort of uh, black green saplings deck going wide and sacrificing things. Fire and light at all, to be honest. I'm just gonna take that one. It's rare. The same for Flame of Kel. It's not rare, but. Let's cut off that there. I mean, this guy fits my deck's themes, so again, don't really think I'm green enough to go with free colour. But everything else in this pack is terrible, isn't it? Isn't that just regenerate by any other name? Yeah, alright, I'm gonna take that one. I guess I'm gonna take another. I guess I could take Isolated Chapel for the rare drafting power. I wonder if you have my Shap Sapper, it will come back. Dark Bargain would be nice as well. I guess I should come black sooner, really. There's Lanowar Elves, that's one that I definitely want. Picks this this way a much easier. <laughs> Double slime foot. Okay. Small bear, just to have something to choke up the ground to begin with. Short on playables. A little bit. I see one or two cards that I could do with having. Uh, I feel like it's too late to go back on black now. I guess I could play this thing and try to have multiple colours, but... Way, way earlier. 
like any of these four cards would be playable. I want the relatively small, easy to use ones, but. Oh, Mammoth Spider or Feral one? Oh, Mammoth Spider. Because it deals with flyers, and otherwise I don't really have any way to deal with flyers. Because all my removal kind of got scythed out. here seems to be that keeping red in would be a bad choice. You know, it leaves me with no removal if I drop it. Actually, Drove Sentinel is just worse than anything else by a long way, isn't it? So yeah, let's leave red in for Phoenix and opposed to those ratios. Maybe I'll get rid of the void since I can't really afford any colorless lands. I might want Nature's Spiral actually, instead of one of the completely crappy ones. Like this, I don't even have any, well I have three slime foots and those are my only historic spells, right? Sagas, no artifacts. As bad as Nature Spiral seems, it can actually be good. It's basically a copy of the best spell you've played so far, which is limited, is often actually better than you think. Yeah, this deck is trash, but... Oh, I'm still 41. Um, adventurous Impulse? Yeah, it helps me get my mana. A random bear? Yeah, I guess I don't need that many bears. Alright, I have a very simple game plan, I've run to powerful spells. I wish I'd picked up some of those black um, draw spells, but my complete lack of card advantage is going to cost me the, uh, any matches whatsoever, I think. But we'll play what we can. Guess there'll be a fairly long wait for games in this format. Do they have a different sparkly thing, but the same avatar? Don't know how you get these avatars. Maybe you just buy them. Didn't see them in the store though. That is a easy keep. Plains nothing. Forest. Wealth. Do I go straight to the stowaway, or do I go to grow from the ashes? I think I go stowaway and then grow from the ashes kicked if I can. I'm pretty much all in on phallids, so... I 
especially with this guy to let me get some cards out of it. Would I trade this guy for this guy? What's this guy do? Nothing, I guess, I would tell me. Um, I don't think I would. I think I just play a forest. Yeah, I'm going to drop it on the floor. No attacks. This guy's a 3-2. I'm going to block there, because I just have no one sitting in my hand. Um, I, I feel like it's to my advantage to trade cards. Okay. Alright, do I drop another omnivore? Do I break an ashes? I don't think I made your spiral yet. I think I just made another omnivore. I'm sitting on shit tons of gas. As soon as I draw a land, I can throw from the ashes two cards. It'll have to happen eventually. I don't think he'll double block because of the possibility of me sacrificing the elf. Eh, uh, maybe he would. He'll still be okay with that, to be honest. No matters, so. Difficult decision with him. Would you trade his card that makes a couple of knights called the cavalry for a Manowar elf? Normally, of course, he would never would. Uh, now do I sacrifice a creature or... No, I'm right, the time is the Maybe I'm being greedy by waiting to draw a land for Grove from the Ashes rather than just casting Grove from the Ashes to get one land. But what do I do on 5 mana? 3-2 oh. first strike. Why would you have such a creature? That'll do. Okay, I think it does nothing unless he has all his equipment attached to it. Good enough. Shame I can't do that after shuffling the library, really. Strike hexproof from hexproof from white. A thousand fuck yous to wizards. Like Okay, I'm on bitching. Well, protection from white was just better. And anyone who says otherwise is stupid. Like it's pretty obvious that I have sheet and fire, but I'm gonna let them think about it, because he can't attach auras and print to this as long as I'm holding it up, right? This guy can attack, which is a bit annoying, but I'm pretty soon I'm just going to start. I'm going to major spiral back my doom and start making shit tons of valids. I hope. I'll just 
like the audio one. Dark bargain? Sure. So that's a very good card. I really wish I had that. This guy's a 2 2 first strike for one and a black. What the fuck are they doing? Okay, navigator's compass lets him derp around being a uh, multicolor, I guess, since he has three colors over there, same as me. Okay, he's making it. Is he four color? Is that why he needs it to change that? And then he's making it into a swamp. I guess. The best. He's an artifact or creature from the player discards that card. But you can only choose primordial worms, so. fine. And he knows I have nature spirals, so. <laughs> have fun taking that knowing that it's coming right back. Okay. He's tapped out as well, so you can't attack with the knights into the 3-3 three, three, and 2-3. Three. You can only really attack with this. Well, you can attack with this, but... He's aware that I'm probably going to fire one of these two. Mm. No attackers. Alright, if he's not attacking, I'm not using Sheep and Fire. Yeah, alright, I could just draw Verdon Force off the top. I can't quite cast it yet, but soon, soon. Do I spiral back my dude making dude? I think I do. Bring that guy back, cast him, giving up shooting fire. like for six mana draw a card, which is overpriced, but powerful. And he knows that. And I know he knows that. He knows I know he knows that. This is going to be a long game. <laughs> Unless he does something really dramatic. It's, my deck is not a, not a fast winner. Until I get one more mana and cast for force. He's already used Eviscerate, that might just be screwed. Weird that he's not attacking with the first striker. I thought he'd be keener to, uh... Bad steward of our keys. Creatures can't attack you or place so we control unless they can replace one for each of those creatures. Okay, that's a two four visions. I can just uh I really want to set an auto yield to that, but I don't think you can. Alright, it's a flying dude. Um I think I just make the flying no, because I wanna have red. I need to hold up red, so I can't cast the phoenix just yet. Alright. Alright. No attackers. This good old... There was a thing like just like this on Zendikar as well. Burst lightning. Okay, he's doing something exciting. the cavalry again. Alright, if that's what he's stepping out for, I'm gonna go 
go ahead and create a little longer incessant breach token. He's like gonna be like, aha, you tapped out of your sheep and fire, but well, he has no cards in hand, it's not good luck. <laughs> I guess it's more like, oops, shouldn't have eviscerated that small guy. <laughs> At this point, I just start sacrificing shit tons of sacrilegs in order to drain them to death with <laughs> slime fun. Of course, now I have tons of instants, it just wants to be stopping constantly. <laughs> Which is irritating, but fine. Mm -hmm. Alright, he's coming in with a 3 2. Um, am I willing to burn Sheep and Fire to stop the 3 2 fire? Not really, because I can just use Warcry Phoenix. I'll just take three for now. Mm. It's so good, I'll do it again. I can just drop Gross and Druid and I'll just be like, I'm winning this race, give up, but... Yeah. 
Like, even if he kills the Phoenix, I can bring it back any time by just throwing three sac sac things at him. Attackers. He's coming in for three. Dead locks. Three. I might deck myself if I'm not careful, so. Use Chris and Druid to keep up on life. terrified right now. I have 10 bazillion saprolines. Twenty-seven life. I can start attacking with Thalid on the four actually and threatening to just kill him instantly. If he doesn't block. In fact I'll do that next turn. Put the squeeze on. Sacrifices, so that's enough to give him enough power and toughness to kill his entire team, probably. He has to block it with at least one creature, or I'm going to just uh, pump it into the sky. Okay, he's blocked it with. Four power and four toughness. No? No? You have to lock it with something and you are dead. Unless he has a life game card in hand and is trying to trick me. If I let down my guard, I'd take eight, ten, thirteen, sixteen, nineteen damage, I wouldn't die. Actually, burst lightning could hit players, couldn't it? Just kept it back to force me to do the uh, sacrilege suicide attack to get the Phoenix back. Maybe he's just not that scared of being burned out by uh, the slime foot. Okay. Oh, he's, drawn a, he's drawn something. He's got some gas in the tank. Tiana, ship's caretaker, flying for a strike, no more. Grim County Crossman, go to the battlefield, return the cards in his hand, beginning the next end step. Good card. It's flying and first strike, so it has to die. This, uh... um... With kicker. Oh, 
right, how much wider am I at this point? Eight attackers. Um, I think he's just dead to an Alpha Strike, but... I'm not in any hurry. There is just no reason for me to make an Alpha Strike with all my saplings. Even though I think it wins the game, because I'm already going to win the game, unless something extremely unusual happens. He doesn't know that I'm out of room, but I suppose he would just cast the creature he has anyway. He's, he's now dead to just all of my saplings dying on the blocks, so even an Alpha Strike doesn't save him if he finds something that uh, like makes it good, like um, the, the, whatever red thing gives all your creatures plus two plus zero in this format. Frenzy Rage, okay, so he was trying to tempt out the uh, Sheep and Fire so that he could make the uh, Charming on that creature. Yep, yeah, right. Bring it. I'm actually going to block three tokens on that if you attack. Dirty was to the phallic bullshit. Okay, okay, I think I love my deck. Get ready for game two. Oh, well, this is on time, okay. Um, but where is the sideboard? Oh, it's right here in front of me. I need anything that kills artifacts, really? Or enchantments? I have nothing that does either of those things. Wonderful. Repeat of that game, but with one less turn of mana scripts that I can finish these a little faster would be fantastic. And if I could maybe play a little faster as well. God, my brain's a little slugs. This has Lanoir Scout, which is less good than Lanoir Elf. It also has Grow from the Ashes, Mount Spider, Tolden Moth, as Burden Port eventually. Seems like an easy keep. It's not great, it could do with more lands, but... Oh hey, now it has all three colours. What a great hand. Life gain in this format is... I wouldn't call it strong exactly, but I'm playing Scout because I have four lands, so I'm going to do that next turn. Haste bears he has. I should put in the land destruction actually just to get the memorial to glory. Uh, it's not a haste dude, but it's not good either. If you're anxious to get his combo online this game, you could be in some some small amount of trouble. I'm gonna play a spawn. Oh, 
would land onto the battlefield. Mm. Cabal of Angel. Technically, that's instant. I could have just saved for his own step, but that would seem like, you know, massive waste of time. I will 100% train my Bear Dude if you want. Ah, oh, god damn it. So now it has first menace. I can't block it. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. No, oh, I'm just fucking dead. I'm taking like 7, 10, 13 damage. I guess I chump this guy because taking 7 damage is a bit much. No, I can't because it's. Uh... Menace. Um, Mammoth Spider helps, but probably not enough. Who the fuck designs this bullshit? Um, so with Mammoth Spider I'll have two blockers. Um, and I'll go to like four life. I'm guessing he just removes one of my blockers and kills me, but... See, that's... Am I willing to trade Lano Scout for just 3 life under these circumstances? Yes. Presumably he has a combat trick or something, but... Like, if he has the plus 2 plus 2 in the structural one, there's no point in making extra blocks here. The only one, like, unless this combat trick is literally just plus one, plus one, and render turn, and nothing else, making the extra block here is just going to, you know, one life for no good reason. Bit of an old attack there. Well, not really an old attack, you might just burn me out of the game. Uh, or, or a flyer. A flyer will do it in four turns. Two if he manages to pull out uh, some more artifacts. Uh, and he has the hex proof from black one as well because. Um, well, I guess I make the sap herd. And then I can. Die to that guy. Take one or two if he manages to cast an artifact enchantment or legend. I don't know if he managed to cast any of those and live. Yeah, Sapo it is. I kinda got black sludge a little. Do I switch to blue just to be able to bounce this dude when he Ah, uh, that just seems so unlikely to actually work out. It's a chump either way, but when you're this low, you'll take it. Eviscerate. Shame he didn't have that earlier, or he could have just won the game. Another grow from the ashes. Where's the Zee Bunt? It's over here. The trouble is, blink of an eye.
let's hope for the best. Close match. It's a shame you don't have a text chat in this. I'd like to talk to this guy. Yes, hands like this are perfect, and I will never complain about them ever. Turn two slime through it, turn three. Or turn. This is my power star. I don't think I only have the one, huh? Oh, I even got the blue. Alright, I think I go slime foot then, bro, right? Like... Yeah, I have the mana to get. Doing it again, same as game one. Like, next time I have four mana and I use slime foot, and then I have five mana and I grow for two more mana, and then I have one, which isn't great, but it's big. I'm very simple to sight in more flyers, it seems. I'm gonna conceal my blue splash. Though I suppose if I... well, no. Yeah, alright, so... One, this guy attacks. Literally no reason not to. And then we drop Island past the turn. And we'll activate this on his end step or whatever. He gets this for one, and that's fine. Ooh, or we could make Mammoth Spider. That might be higher priority. Um, I feel like I feel like I'm being baited into one of those destroy target tapped or destroy attacking creature things. But no, um, yeah, getting into two here, three here is just good. I know you're gonna... yeah, all right, forest. Yeah, let's make it the gold spider. Symbol for reaches of the level. Oops. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's mana screwed. That is very unfortunate. That is not how you want to lose the game. Still, I'm not holding back with the spider if he's not got any. Unless he's baiting me into attacking with the spider and to destroy target type of creature. This guy has first strike. Yeah, I'm willing to make that trade. Like, if he's keeping that guy back and I'm getting in for five, fine. That guy cost me nothing. Those are cards. Uh, do I just want to make Primordial Worm? The answer is yes. I, 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 there needs to be an emote for like sympathetic ouch. Like, doesn't it suck when you lose to mana screw? Okay, but I can afford to just attack through that. Do I attack with the spider? If I'm going to be paying, I want to just attack with the worm, don't I? Well, actually, I can afford to, uh, I can afford to pay both the worm and the spider, can't I? And this forces more blocks out of him, I think. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay, I'm going to keep the spider back. That way I can grow from the ashes. No oh, way, I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five mana upwards, yeah. Two attackers. Let's 
swamp. 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 Okay. He has a lot of cards, I have a lot of mana. He might just win, but then I have slime foot, so having lots of mana. The question is, can I make enough saplings just to make it so that even if he kills all my dudes, he gets burned out of the game? No blockers. No way, no how. <laughs> no sense losing to a combat trick. Though I suppose, you know, given that he knows that I know that... This rate, but maybe... to kick, so I'm just going to go ahead and end turn and make the sapling. This is a miserable way to lose, I should know. Stuck on four mana while your opponent is like, I can just make unlimited saplings and drain you to death. He does have a couple of knights, though. He does have a couple of knights. I can't attack into all that first strike damage anymore. Oh no, I'll just have to make shit tons of saplings. No attackers. And turn. He got Teshar and Sester's Apostle, though I don't think you draft in the same pool in this format. That could be pretty bad. That could be pretty bad. And then just to. Another one, so back up, can't have two. Wouldn't be any point having two since it doesn't have to use its ability. Do I start attacking with the sacrilings just to try and make a really evil point? Nah. His angel can't get through my spider. Like, he has a lot of cards in hand. If he starts drawing lands, this is not necessarily an over game, because all of that in his hand is gas. All I have in hand is junk and a replacement for slime foot. But, if he does manage to kill all my creatures, he is going to lose two life for it, unless he kills slime foot first. Shield of the Realm, alright. Yes, bring back Sarah Disciple. Seems reasonable. What does Shielding do? Source control deal damage to a quick creature for two of that damage. Okay, so my Okay, yes this guy can now start getting in. And well, alright. Exciting. Yeah? Alright, 
in the blocks. Take four. Activate the square twice. Drawn that a little earlier, huh? That would have been really good when he was full of gas. Not quite at the point where an alpha strike with my saplings is lethal either way, but that will happen next turn. So I think the play here is like divest. Oh no. Yeah, let's just try it anyway. Yeah, I'll take a flyer. That never makes me unhappy. Um, pass. Neither of these cards is game winning. No attacks. And turn. And now he's kind of in a bind. Because... I guess he could have just drawn a move for slime foot, that would put him out of bind. But... Right now, like, next turn I'll have six attackers. If he blocks any of them, they die, they deal more damage to him. If he doesn't block them, they hit him, they deal more damage to him. Slimefoot's kind of underrated. <laughs> one we both games this uh, match, or the things I won, if I win this time. I don't know, you could be thinking because it's good. Doing something. Alright, stock bargain. That is. That is desperate. Is there anything in your deck that you'll cast this turn that will save you? to take away Slime Foot or Person Druid or Lanawas Gun. Took Person Druid, the obvious choice. Shit, we won a match! First time in this plane. Uh, what is this? Don't like how it's counting down. It's kind of a shame you can't enter the drafts with packs, like you go in Magic Online. So, I guess it doesn't seem like I'm forbidden from just leaving it here and coming back to it later, right? Because it's getting kind of late round here. Some time around two, 
someone else was in a bed with you. Baby, if you think I'm crazy about you, you better change Like, I don't have time to play all these matches tonight. Not if, game, not if my deck's gonna make games go this long, which is my own fault, but... But I guess it doesn't need to draw as much. Yeah, alright. If I'm gonna draw the map, I will get to cast it as the moves. Then I'm happy. Let's go ahead and talk about something. These are all pretty scary, to be honest. Through three, the one one flyer, the knight and Ignalia. I'm taking the knight because that's going to deal the most damage to me before I can deal with it. Maybe I should have taken the flyer. Uh, I don't know. I'm less scared of the flyer. Most people don't seem to have the ability to actually turn it out with legends and so forth. Settle the score means he can kill any creature I play, but it's okay because I don't have any good creatures. Mm, I'm not attacked with corrosive views here. I guess I'm just getting flyered out of the game. Go down the base of white. Still, if he attacks with both his dudes, he's kind of screwed. Another Corsa? Really? I guess, I guess this is our life now. No attackers. That guy, on the other hand, can attack into anything he plays. Chain is torment. Okay, he's gonna go and try and get the chain is dude, which is huge. Like an 11 11. I think I'm obviously attacking with that. I don't want to attack with the others. Let's see what games he's willing to play. None, because this guy's running one threes anyway. Yeah. Mm, Frozen Druid is nice. Mm, I'd rather just save it and play it later, though. Like, eight mana's a lot, but it's not a reasonable point in the deck to game go, to go that far.
like, he's gonna knock himself down to like 10, get like a huge dude. Um, there's not much I can do about the huge dude, is the problem. Maybe if I got one of my maker, make constant dudes things. Man, I should have, I should have, uh, hit him in the flyers. Didn't know he was going to draw two Pegasus courses. Brutal. Like, he's just going to use this to give his huge dude flying, and that's it. Slime foot, but how much good it does me. I went to gathering down by the wood where the flea gnats swarm and the powder flies brood and the sniff grass grows to the tip of your nose where nobody goes nobody goes fortunes tell of the tail snatch girl in the cool calm waters of the methane pool where she makes her home in the lily white foam and nobody knows nobody knows amidst the fern from the toadstool pit the sprawdust parts set upon my lips And my head first led to a dark stream bed Black water flows, black water flows I, I could have played that first game one more life But I didn't want to give it away me left from me right and me up Okay Dude's big Can't attack this turn Dude's big For to share the gaze of a maiden so fair Is to lose one's taste for pedestrian cares And you'll find my bones where the sniff grass grows Where nobody goes, where nobody goes Fortunes tell of the tail snatch girl in the cool I should have played Chris and pool Where she drinks her fill of a young Anna. man's will And nobody knows, and nobody knows can I courses as well? I don't flyers. Nobody knows and nobody knows. Do I have any live draws to this? I actually don't. So some kind of flying thing, but with... If it's making a giant token, I want Link of an Eye. So it is a shame to be losing. This huge guy here indefinitely if it were when applying. No, we'll have to just we'll have to just hope for the best. That game wasn't the best, but it wasn't terrible, so I think I'm just gonna lose this one. Really I need three Lanoir elves instead of three slime floods, but this is fine, it has a one three. Slime foot and it just barrel and it just yeah. has mount spiders so yeah. It needs to be very land, but that's far from difficult. 
I guess they've abandoned the choosing to go first or second thing, you just go first if you're lost. I'm just random every game. I'm sure I can pay enough attention. I don't know if that's a generic change to the rules or... So this guy's gonna get in, I don't have a second blocker for it yet, but... Alright, do I slime foot or grow? Um, I think I slime foot so as to have more blockers. It didn't show me all that much. Uh... This guy's not terribly great. You really draw spells in order to fill your hand up with lands, but this guy'd be good. Oh well. For the ashes is just a rampant growth this game. So I can get to Mammoth Spider. Oh, yeah. Um, well. It's because of this thing, which is sort of instant speed. Alright, let's start off by hitting with the best and see what's in there. Call the cavalry settles school. He does have Chain's Torment. He can come down next turn and turn off the so Teshar is going, obviously. And... Yeah, unkicked brew from the ashes. It it sucks, but we need that uh that spider next turn. We're gonna start taking too much flying damage to be happy. He's sitting on so much gas compared to us, and we're not aggro enough to beat out his, um, his mana screw, so we're probably losing this game as well. Yeah, like, that makes that creature unstoppable, at least in this field of combat. Because I can have menace and flying, I only have the one spider in my deck. How is he managing to be aggro while mana screw? That's just unfair. I guess I can draw a bounce and get rid of dub by returning to his hand. Chin only hits equipment and not um, anything else. Still, don't be lost. If he just draws a land, he can exile mana spider and the, uh, the game is basically over anyway. Yeah, good game. Like, there's nothing I can do about full damage in the air, and they just spell covering it back from XR. That was a mistake. I guess he's just not going to attack now. He can always attack Salad next turn. Growth from the ashes doesn't do much. Um, still, I'm going to pass it there. We got forest. Um, I'm going to take first Does nothing, but yeah, I guess for his exile thing. Nothing. I 
Why couldn't any of those be permanents that were actually good? Okay, so he gets into four again, we go to three. Damn, Pegasus Corsa, a deck unto itself, I see. Enjoy that one, to be honest. I guess I might as well play one more albums very fast. Combo decks. Things about combo decks, wizards, you don't allow combo decks to exist. It's the same guy again. Uh, wrecked again. This one is terrible, but maybe the spry will help me find a green source. Course it out again. We are the main course. I'm guessing he's just drawn all of his gas cards again, because why wouldn't you draw all your good cards three games in a row? Case, I'm gonna play early person druid. Unkicked. Because I just want a 2 3 blocker. Um, I'm gonna just trade sappers. And the next turn I get to double grow. This is my kind of deck though. I like making shit tons of parlance. Well, except for once. I like how completely oppressive and unfair it is when you're winning. Like, how long your opponent spends in a state of, I've lost, but I haven't lost yet. Maybe I can force them to get out of this. They can't. There's nothing they can draw. They're dead and they don't know it. But they do know it, that's the thing. It's the art. 
That's why I play magic. To feel people suffer. Okay, that guy's big. The worm's bigger, but... Uh, do I start jumping with Thalids? No, I can't because it's flying. Fucking courses. Uh, this is my own fault for drafting badly, mostly. I didn't go into my colours until too late and didn't get the uh, flying removal that green usually has. Spider. I'm guessing he just has removal for it again. Can't attack into uh, 4 4 first strike vigilance. So this guy's getting exiled and he gets him five again and then it happens twice more and lose the game. Life without removal spells. He very clearly has a trick, but I don't have the option of not blocking, right? Like, he's getting around the spiders either with a trick or with a removal spell, either now or later. If I don't block the Corsa, I'm screwed either way, right? Yeah. I do actually get the Corsa out of this, though, with Gideon's approach, as he has another Gideon's approach. Fungal infection, brutal. matched against the same person who annihilates your deck twice. Is good enough. Sideboards have been larger in real dramas. Is it just that there are only 14 cards for back in this format? I mean, like, Stark Ghost if you're playing with pretty basic land sets. Um, it's not amazing, but it has Lanor Elves and Adventurous Impulse that can cast off its one forest and Lanor Scout. And it has Blink of an Eye, which could just be game ending against him. And so if he's on the completely fucked hand that has to mull, yeah, if you could mull again, that would be fantastic. Right way down to four, I think is where I get that. Oh, I draw a land, I can get scout and an impulse. If I don't draw a land, I think I just impulse. So I really need to hit a land. Let's 
This is a bit brutal because uh, I'm never going to get mounted by this game, which means I'm dead. But I desperately need to land, so. It's even worse because, like, the land isn't good enough, it's another forest. being a 2-2 lifelink that turns the stone. I can block and bounce the unicorn, but it's not worth it. I don't get anything out of doing that. Like my creature. If my creature were a 2-3, that would probably be worthwhile, but Fun draft. And by fun, I mean not fun. Please fix every matches, please. Firstly, it's just an ugly way of saying it. Secondly, Back to having a 3 2 beta. Not great. Maybe I'll draw a land and just drop the worm. Works for me. It's huge. Stop this guy to get up to 5 points of first strike damage. Ooh, you shouldn't have played that. You gave away you did another trick. You probably want to play this as a 3 3 and then double it to a 5 5. Oh no, he's going for a uh, 4 4 first strike vigilance, so okay. To be fair, he doesn't know I have the second link of the line. Ah, oh, man, efficiency is the name of the game. Got it. Six mana, so it's happening. I can't attack into a seven points of first striking damage. 
His hands empty. That's fake having some tricks. But actually, we also just have slime foot. Chain is torment, hmm? Well, it's a kick in the teeth, but maybe we'll draw our other blink of an eye. Ow. He doesn't have a courser in place, so I'm much less worried about his thing, because I can jump in every turn if I want to. Mm, yeah, I want to play that. Its potential hugeness is not to be underestimated. And since I no longer have any... Uh, No, I shouldn't skip through everything. I might be able to save this from something. There's the blink of an eye. If I could just get one more blue mana, that would be really nice. But mostly I want to let him take away half his life and then bounce his token and then giggle. Uh, can this guy get big enough? He can get up to 5577. Five, seven. Um. He can, but it would involve sacrificing more creatures than I'm comfortable sacrificing, so no attackers yet. Play a forest, end the turn. Okay, resolve. Dude is huge. I might just leave it and hope he tries to put something on it. Because right now it does merciless shit all. Activate. Just a sound. Don't have enough to kick that just yet. Soon though. Like, unless he has some way to give his flying or evasion, the fact that I can jump in every turn while draining with one is probably pretty brutal. No? Okay. Okay, I could kick this. This guy has four pumps getting up to 11-11, which doesn't quite fight this just yet. But it's getting there. Um, he has cards that win in the game from this situation, but... I'm not convinced that he is going to use them. And now I can do this twice. Like, I win the game just by doing nothing and eventually sacrificing all my dudes to drain them out of the game. Which isn't fair, or fun, but... Ah, there we go, Pegasus Corsa. Okay. What you gonna send? Nothing yet. 
Alright, two more Valiant Saffrons during the fray. Will he be expecting it? The second blink of an eye. Bye. Shame about your life. attack with less than 12 because you can't block all of them and as long as three get through I can sacrifice all the rest to uh, Thalid Omnivore. Actually I may as well get him with Thalid Omnivore as well. No, because then it can die to first strike damage and that doesn't work. Nine attackers. He does have two points of life link. That's a good point, that's a good point. No way, I can just remove this one from play and that one doesn't get any damage, does it? This guy's double blocked? By a unicorn and a knight? Now where's my sacrifice dude? Yes, sacrifice the dude is double block. First strike damage. I love my combo. <laughs> my combo of this dude with himself. This guy plus mana. Powerful combination. Okay, so basically if he draws his flyers, I lose. If he doesn't draw his flyers, he wins. I had to mobile that game as well, so I only win on a huge advantage. Oh well. That game was over from the moment I drew the second pink of the line. I have an elf, I have broken the ashes. This is an amazing hand. Gotta say, I feel good about games where I draw Stein Turn One Lanor Elf. This bodyguard, but without anything to choose. Painful. Okay, do I make the sap herd? Because that way I get uh, one one to block his bodyguard. I think I do.
Okay. I think I go forest broken the ashes. Uncooked. It kinda sucks to play an uncooked, but it lets me go to spawn, which I really need right now. And then I can play Cabal of Angel. Even Gav. Whatever that thing is. It's just a 2 2, but. I mean. Um, yeah, you can play a third land, so I'm getting in while I can. If he makes the trade, that's, you know, that's sensible, but. Like, when, there's, when their mana screwed, always get in, as a general rule. Ah, oh, damn. He's, he's getting back in it. He's even got the goddamn flyer. What a dick. That's okay, I can pull through my entire deck for my bounce spells this game, so I'm much less scared. Let's drop a spider. Could be argued that I should Adventurous Impulse first for a land, but I'd rather Adventurous Impulse for a creature like the uh, Double Forcer, alright. Ooh, no, no removal spell and still stuck on three mana. That's the kind of situation you want to see people be in. Okay, so I can Impulse and still cast Soothsayer, but then I won't be able to Soothsayer. Um, Plus, sacrifice the salad, no, the sapling to draw a card. And I'd rather do that, if I'm entirely honest. Ah. Uh, obnoxious. Multiples of both, so I'm not particularly concerned about losing anything. Let's take slime foot. Uh, no, just play a forest. Tap. Swamp forest. The way that it like automatically switches between full control and partial control for you is really bloody irritating. <laughs> okay, he's got his black mana. We might be a bit fucked now. Edict? I strongly suspect that a chain of edict is going to be happening quite soon. But we have seven we have eight mana next turn, so we can start getting crazy amounts of powers. Or we can start doing the old, uh... Six mana draw. No attackers. No turn. It's attack step. Okay, he's got a trick, or he wouldn't be coming in with the courses against the spider. He's got broad combat trick, like an everything gets plus one plus one type trick. Or he just wants to give a big guy flying. Oh no, he just gives them all flying. Um, he probably still has a trick, otherwise he wouldn't do that. But, it's fine. I'm gonna block Corsa. I don't really think I have a choice in the matter. 
I have to try something or I'm just going to be to death by flies eventually anyway, right? And if he does do a trick to destroy it, I can just sacrifice it and draw a card. Great. Okay. Um, it's not enough by itself. But if he has minus one, minus one, I'll sacrifice it. Uh, otherwise, I'll trade it for a Corsa. Yeah, alright. Not a great trade, because he still gets to beat me down, but... Knight of Malice? Sure. Make a dude. Make another dude. Ugh. I'm actually getting flooded. You wouldn't have thought it was possible, and yet here we are. I've got Nature Sparrow on the bottom of my deck as well, that's brutal. Um, we've got to hope to hit something. Memorial to Unity. Can't play this deck because I already played Forest. That was stupid. I should have not activated the ability until I was ready. Alright, um. No, I thought I'll play Forest of Lose. That's not great, but. You can only get me the 3, 4 in the air down to 11. It's bad, but. It's not necessarily over for. So this final game between our decks. On Sarah's wings. Oh, okay, never mind. She has like a zillion power of flying. Oh well. Nothing I can do about that one yet. It's actually a good draw because it flies. I mean, this guy has first strike. This guy doesn't. Playing the Royal Team Team. Could just kill my three best dancers. Ugh, oh, it killed Blink of an Eye. Brutal. But I wouldn't have got it until the turn after the next, by which point it would be too late, so. Whatever. Whatever. And the chances are just too good in this format. Alright, alright. Coming in for... 
8 damage that I can't deal with. It's like, I don't have anything in my deck that actually can't block that one, so I have to block like that one. Otherwise I'm just dead. That's life. Belgian waffles. Belgian waffles. Belgian waffles. Splash in the coffee. Like, I don't have cards that deal with the situation anymore, but it's still totally biased. Waffles. Press and Druid just live a little longer, which is always nice, but... Guinness. Guinness. Okay, he gets me for another 6. 10 damage in the air this time. That's fine. Once again, I fail to be dead. Alright, now I'm dead, right? Yeah, there's no way I have to do anything. Blink of an eye. But needed it. Well, it wasn't the worst draft ever, but I'm pretty pissed that I got faced up against the guy who beat me in the second round again in the third round. Like, what the hell? That's not a good tournament structure. That's just misery inducing. You're losing because it's not a blue red deck. Well, I mean, you're not wrong, but consider. Like, I didn't have blue-red open, and black-green was really open. I'm losing because I have no fucking removal. That's the problem. My first pick for removal, my second pick for removal, my third pick for removal, and I didn't get to play any of it because it was all the wrong colours. Well, that's life. Yay. Well, I may as well open the packs and see if there's anything that can go in any of my decks. Bunch of trash and wizard tribal. All right. Bunch of trash. Elfin druid mm, has some uses. Memorial's genius mm, definitely has uses. Jay of Allard, a planeswalker, which costs five mana and does nothing on the turn you play it. Wow, that's that's a really powerful looting effect for turn five in a red deck. An emblem with you may cast instant or sorcery cards from your graveyard if a card cast this way so would do your exile instead. Um I'm not complaining or anything, but you know J.R. Ballard Task Mage from back when sets were actually good. She was better. I, I liked the creature more. You could deal shit tons of damage with it. This does nothing. This is five mana, concede the game. Right. I hope you've appreciated my rage about Magic the Gathering. I'll be back to rage again tomorrow or Friday, probably. Until then, just... 
I look forward to Singleton. Singleton's a format I dislike less. 